Hey guys, I'm back in New York and I'm already missing all the great food I had in Japan, especially the ramen. Luckily, there are a few Ichiran locations here in New York and what's really interesting about this video we're gonna do today is that you know that magical ramen window where ramen noodles just seem to materialize in front of you? Today, we are gonna get an inside look. We're actually gonna see what happens behind the curtains and of course, we're gonna eat a ton of ramen as well. It's gonna be pretty fun. Let's go. By the way, this is a new location here in Midtown. Ramen for breakfast, dream of mine. Let's go. I'm the first one here today. Um, so this location only has the booth sitting. You know, the, the magic ramen booth at all each you want. This is the system that tells you which booth is empty. <sighs> Can you feel the excitement? Hi! So this is it, your personal ramen space. Your cube of deliciousness. And you have the order menu, the instructions on how to order. A lot of fun memories were made here. What's really cool about this video is that I'm actually gonna be able to go where the camera is right now and take a look and see what happens behind this magical ramen curtain. Let's go. Meet Angie. How are you? So I'm the assistant manager. You're the assistant manager, yes. and you will be my uh, I'll be my tour. ramen tour guide. So I actually have you closed. So oh. You can put it on, oh. so you can actually be one of us. A few minutes later. Okay, Angie, how do I how do I look? You look. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So this is this yeah. is not supposed. No. I'm wearing it like a bib. So it's gonna go around your apron. What? I'm such so, an idiot. This one is how it is. Good. I'm just gonna wrap it around. Wait, how come yours is different? So I'm gonna manager. So as you keep going up, it changes. You gotta you know, work for the blue apron. <laughs> yeah. Right. So then you just tie it. And how do you do the, the little hair? So this one, I usually just make it into a triangle uh -huh. as so, and then you just put it on top of your head. Okay. So we usually cover your head. I feel like Little Ray Riding Hood. <laughs> You have to cover your head because it's like health code. Yeah, yeah. So we usually cover it just so the hair won't come all out. Okay. Literally every strand has to go inside. Has to go inside. Apron. Okay. We don't want to fall into the ramen. Yeah, we don't want it to fall into the ramen. So I have the uniform not just for show. Yes. You're putting me to work. Yes, I am. So you're gonna learn how to serve today. Okay. So we usually serve and run. Serving and running is put together. So in FOH we have all of these different jobs that you can do and you're gonna learn how to do each of them. Okay. When the customer comes and has a seat, we yes. wait like at least one second. One to two seconds, make sure the customer is sitting. Okay. Then you want to go to the counter and you say, Hi, Irashamase, welcome to Ichiran. Language is not my strong suit. Irashamase. 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 Yes. Irashamase. Oh, that's right there. Yes. Irashamase. Yes. Irashamase. Welcome to Ichiran. Do I bow? No, you don't bow as okay. of yet. Yeah. So you're going to say, Hi, Irashamase, welcome Shamase. to Ichiran. Ichiran. When you're done with the order form, just press the call button. Okay. So that's like the first portion. Okay. So you can try. Okay. Irashamase, welcome to Ichiran Ramen. My name is Mike. Please fill out your order form with extra spicy. And when you're done, push the call button. Thank you. Also, I got to design my <laughs> so you have to make sure that you're referring to the water. Okay. Because we don't get, in Brooklyn, it's different. Brooklyn, we serve the ramen. Yeah. Here, we have water dispensers. Yeah. So the water dispensers are behind them. Oh, should I tell them that? Yeah, so okay. you're going to say, um, when you're done with the order farm, just press the call button. This is the cup for the water dispenser yeah. that's uh, behind you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We have like these setups, so every time it's busy or we need something to do, um, we usually have setups already done. Okay. So we usually have peak times. Okay. So yeah. the peak times are when it's like extremely busy. Yeah. So we have these already done for you guys. So we just place it after we clean it, we bust the table, everything is fine. And the ramen is really quick too. Yes. How we have that? a 15 second standard. 15 seconds. Yes. Wait, wait. So 15 seconds between what? So by the time they sit down and they order their they order their food. So by the time they do this, mm -hmm. we have to get the order form, take their order form, and we have 15 seconds to take it to the back and it has to be out between 15 seconds. So this has to be in the kitchen within 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And the food has to be out between that time frame also. Wait, the food has to be out in 15 seconds? Mm -hmm. From when I push this button, you took my sheet. You have 15 so, seconds. From the time I walk away from here, yeah. 
Fluorizing fifteen seconds. Yes. Wow. There's a ton of that. Sometimes. We try to make it so fast. These aren't just ramen served. They're ramen ninjas back here. Like <laughs> I, I'm kind of picturing like some sort of ninja clan <laughs> that opened up a ramen store around the world, and as soon as you order, it's like poof, smoke into the kitchen, poof, come back with your bowl of ramen, and then the curtain is very easily. Yeah. So we usually put down the curtain like this. When they have Never, all their food. Yes. So we'll take the order, we'll get the order, we'll take it to the kitchen. Yeah. And when the food comes out, that's when we'll close the curtain. Slowly. Give them some privacy. Yeah. Do you say anything like, that must? Yes. We usually say, um, Shisurei uh itashimasu. -huh. Every time we give something, Shisurei itashimasu means excuse me. Uh -huh. And then we say, um, Omatasa itashimasu. Thank you for waiting for your uh -huh. food. And then we say, Sorero wa kukuri dozo. And we usually bow. Okay, you bow right here. Yes, yeah, so and, you and bow I, like for at least one second. And I second. and I remember really you don't see a lot of the server's faces. Yes, you don't see yeah. that. Alright guys, I'm trained up. I've stretched. I've practiced a little Japanese. I think I'm ready to serve some ramen. We got customers. Hiroshima, welcome to Ichiran Ramen. This is your order form right there. Uh, please fill it out and push the button. Okay. And then these are your cups. Water is in the back. My name is Mike. I would have got fired. <laughs> like my first order. Angie would have canned me. Look at my bow. So you have to hold it at least for one second. One second. Yeah, so it's like she's doing dashimas and hold it. She's doing dashimas. She's doing dashimas. She's doing dashimas. So if it's both of them, I usually stand here so they can both see me back. She said that's mass. I'm at the gym. <laughs> I'm not the most flexible person anymore. She said that's mass. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. She's three that's mass. Some stuff now. Okay. But well, thank you so much for training me. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was really fun. Got an inside look behind the curtain, served some customers, although very poorly. Um, but now this is my favorite part. Let's eat something. So, as usual, let's do medium, medium dashi, richness, medium garlic, one clove, scallions with, of course, chashu. Heck yeah. Um, extra spicy again 10 is the spice level I always get because it's the maximum level of spiciness without having to pay anything extra um, noodle texture extra and we are definitely gonna cake dama it new and improved egg yes please oh I didn't see a lot of this stuff uh, let's get some mushrooms um, seaweed and oh, this vinegar is interesting Let's try that. Push my button. It's so weird now because I know what happens over there. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. I feel so bad because I was I was like just there, like doing battle with the other ramen pirates, and now I'm, I feel like I abandoned them and just eating here. Got the egg. Got the seaweed. Got the mushrooms. This is the vinegar. I never had this. Ooh, it smells um, a little more acidic. I love vinegar, mind you. I never put vinegar in ramen before. Mm. It's a more sour taste um, than traditional Chinese black vinegar. 
あ,ありがとうございました Here it is. As soon as I see this, my mouth automatically just starts watering uncontrollably. All right, here we go. Lay the c h a s h u out. When you encounter something as delicious as this, making it pretty is the least you can do for it. This is like me buying my, my ramen some accessories from the store. And now, moment of truth the new improved egg. There's something satisfying about cracking your own egg. It's like I'm working for my food. Oh, yeah. When I break open an egg, I want to see a glorious sunset. This is so much better than last time. Oh, it's a gooey. You want your eggs a gooey. All right, this is my favorite part. Yes, yes, yes. It's garlicky, it's porky. Oh, man. This is one of my all time favorite food items on this planet. When you first take a bite out of food and it brings a genuine smile to your face, you know you got something special. Oh, that is rich and creamy.、Ugh. I am really curious about this vinegar though. Try a little tiny bit. Oh, and that's why Chinese noodles, I love adding Chinese vinegar because it cuts through all that thickness and it brings a whole new layer of flavor to your food. And this. This actually works really, really well. Let's see if my pretty baby got any prettier. And it did. Oh, I like that. The vinegar is、mm, a little fruity element to that vinegar as well. Noodles are so thin and they grab onto the broth. You see how the noodles are grabbing onto this broth? Look at that. Every strand has spices in there. This is like the magical moment, you know? There is a magical moment of eating ramen. It's as soon as you dip it in, you put it in your mouth right away before all that juice. Escapes the noodles like right there. This is the ultimate ramen saturation point. There we go.、Mm. There's really no more satisfying bite than that. You don't even need to、uh, use the spoon anymore because they grab on to the broth so well. That's why I love these noodles so much. I like letting my eggs soak in the broth a little bit so kind of get that nice spice and soup in there.、Mm. Oh, thank you, Ichiro, for fixing your egg. Oh, that's nice. The problem with this noodle is that it just goes away oh so quickly. Always. Gotta k e e down my itch. Ah! Thank you. I love getting an extra order of ramen because it's like hitting a food reset button. I wish all food had a reset button, you know? You eat it, hit the button, eat it again.、Mm. That was deeply satisfying. Oh, mouth's on fire. Love that spice though. It's spicy without like. Without feeling like someone's stabbing me on the tongue. It's a good type of spice. It's a good type of pink. This is a caramel pudding. This is something new that they have here because usually it's the matcha. And this is perfect for quenching the fire that's inside my mouth right now. Mmm. Wow. Really? If your mouth is just like hurting you right now, this will help a lot. Mmm. A good ramen day is a good day, period. And today was a fantastic day. Not only That I have some amazing ramen. I got to see what actually happens because before, like, I usually was just like, can I, like, what is going on over here? And、uh, I don't wanna, like, you know, like, be too intrusive. And usually, like, just from this angle, you never get to see the server's faces, you never, never see what, what's really happening behind the scene. And it's pretty interesting. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. And of course, again, delicious ramen to be had here. So if you love ramen, you should definitely try Ichiran. You can't make it to Japan, you're coming to New York, try it in New York because. That's about as good as you can get. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.